We'll now go to agenda item number 18, which is former agenda item number one. Report of the full council item number 18, Council Bill 116268, relating to the premises use and occupancy agreement between the City of Seattle and the Professional Basketball Club, LLC, approving termination of the agreement in accordance with the Professional Basketball Club, LLC, and City of Seattle Settlement Agreement Memorandum of Understanding and repealing ordinance number 122492. Uh, are there any comments on the... Um, ordinance that would uh, provide for this termination. It would be nice to have it in time to read it. Well, it is, it is what we were given uh, essentially uh, a week ago. And uh, so I, I really appreciate Council Member Drago pointing out that this had not been attached to the ordinance, which does seem like it was kind of an irregular thing to do. So we now have this attachment here and it's now attached to the ordinance. Councilmember Harrell. Are we discussing the substance of the ordinance now? We are now, yes. I guess I have more of a question or concern, I suppose, that is, as I understand, I guess the question I had earlier was, because there's still some uncertainty about the settlement, there's still some conditions that have to be negotiated, there's some language, as I understand it, in the settlement that talks about, you know, the lease can be reinstated. I guess the question earlier I had was, um, should we terminate the lease prior to all of those specifics being worked out? Were we doing it prematurely? And having resources in the last hour or so... No, I can't believe that I'm hearing this! And having resources in the last hour or so, as I understand it, we really don't have much of a choice because if you go to the settlement agreement, if the city council did not terminate the lease, we basically forfeit the $45 million, as I understand it in section five. Um, so I wanna make sure that I'm proceeding with a correct understanding. The, the other issue that has sort of come up was as I was better understanding the Seattle Sonic history uh, section, section six of the, of the settlement agreement, uh, you know, we were looking at some stats that are now being you know, tossed around like on ESPN's websites, and you'll notice all that stuff has shifted to Oklahoma now. So, like, you look at the 95-96 season where, you know, we were uh, Western Conference champs, all that Seattle's deleted from it now, and it says Oklahoma, which is sort of uh, apparently unfortunate where we're heading. So, so again, I want to make sure that I'm reading this stuff correctly because it was my understanding that a lot of the history, the memor memorabilia piece, all that was still sort of being negotiated uh, but if I, again, if I'm understanding correctly, if we don't approve this, if we don't terminate the lease, we basically walk away from $45 million. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! So I'd like, just like to, someone to respond to that. Well, I, I can respond to you and say that that is my understanding of the settlement agreement. Okay, please call the roll on the passage of the bill. Lakata? Aye. MacGyver? Aye. Rasmussen? Aye. Burgess? Aye. Drago? Aye. Godden? Aye. Harold? I need a moment. <laughs> Aye. President Conlin? Aye. Eight in favor, none opposed. The bill passes and the chair will sign it. It would be nice to have it in time to read it. I think he's got a real clear understanding of the, all the issues and a, and a real good grasp of all the issues. 